A Maui family has turned tragedy into advocacy after a drunk driver claimed the life of one of their own. But as Eddie Dowd reports, a big anniversary this year is tainted by a grim reality. Smoke for you. <laughs> Hannah Brown was a vibrant 19-year-old full of energy and life. This Sunday marks five years since her death by someone driving under the influence. It's a day-by-day -day situation. You know, some days are better than others. But for the most part, we're coping with with the loss of her. That's all we can do. In the years after her death, the Brown Ohana has lent their voice to officials and police, taking part in events urging the community not to drink and drive. We never expected it to become this big. What was supposed to be a five-year milestone of advocacy turned into a grim reality this month that showed much more work is needed. Her mother Charlene says they were hit by a drunk driver. Our vehicles were ended up side by side. So I had a plain look at like we were window to window. And I could tell in his face already that something was not right. He was very like blank, very dazed. He didn't seem to understand what was happening. I want to say within five minutes, the police officer so told me that he already showed signs of sus suspicion of drinking and driving. Hannah's parents were able to walk away from the crash in stable condition, believing Hannah was protecting them from above, but admits it did leave them discouraged. Me and my husband were just talking and we're saying, why are we even doing this? Why are we spending so much time to advocate and try to make a difference when there's still individuals out there who don't care? They just simply don't care. But Charlene says they'll keep up the fight because that's what their daughter would have wanted. That means calling for tougher DUI laws and having Hawaii's legal drinking driving limit lowered from 0 .08 to 0 .05. And she says Hannah will continue to remain by her side through it all. She would tell me to keep going, Mom, because you are making a difference. And I'm sorry that you guys have to go through this every day. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.